Okay, this is the 33rd video in this series tutorial, um, in this series of tutorials. Um, and today we're going to be working on scores. Um, we are going to be, you know, it's a game, so you got to have scores. So first we need to just ha create a variable where the scores are going to be uh, held. Later on we'll show points being awarded. And then in the tutorial after that we'll actually have a scoreboard probably up in the top left corner here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, there we go. Um, what I'd like to do is when a bird gets hit, you get awarded um, 500 points. How's that sound? And maybe different birds, because right now we only have one really type of bad bird. I mean, we have the bizarro uh, tuxes, but um, they, uh, they don't really do anything different. Which might change. Maybe we can make them fly around or something a little bit. Anyway, moving birds would be interesting. But basically, when a bird gets killed, right now we have feathers flying. What we're going to do right now in this tutorial is add some points. And uh, in the next tutorial, we'll have the points being shown come up out of the, out of the bird. So uh, we're going to click our bird here. And uh, let's... Um, Delete birds like so, except for one. And what we're going to do here is we are going to, from our, let's start adding properties to our camera here. Will be where our scores are kept. So, eh, maybe we should add it to that empty there. That's what I've been using mainly for our player type stuff. No, I like to link it to the camera. Doesn't really matter as long as you remember where you put it. No, I'm going to add to the empty. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what's best. I'm going to link it to the camera. Okay. I'm going to create a property. I'm going to call it integer. And I'm going to call it, or I'm make it make it an integer. And I'm going to call it score. And I'm going to make it visible in uh, debugging mode. Um, so at this point, I'm going to select our bad tux here, and I'm going to shift select the camera, and I'm going to hit control up over our, our um, logic editor here so that we can see what's going on a little bit better, minimize some of this stuff so we don't have stuff everywhere. And right here we have the bird's death, so end object. So basically, this is when it collides with something with, I think, a tux variable. Yes. So basically, we just need to add one more thing, because we have all these feathers generated here. Let's add, uh, we're actually going to add it under. Sorry, I'm looking here. I'm sorry, I keep changing my mind. That's... I'm allowed to do that. I'm the developer. <laughs> I'm going to create the variable under the empty here. Uh, so just like before, we're going to say add, and we're going to add score, and we're going to make it an integer, and just to keep everything in one spot. And then we're going to shift select the penguin here, come back down here, up arrow, and here player, which is our empty object, we're going to add an actuator. Actually, it looks like uh, I selected them in the wrong order. Let's choose it, just the empty. And um, player add actuator uh, property. And here we're going to say we're going to add the score. And score will equal score plus 500. So when you kill a bird, it will um, add to your score 500 points. Let's not forget to enable this. Let's, let's disable some of these right now so that they don't show up in debug mode. It gives us less to look at. Now I can shift select this bird. Come back down here. Our bad tux here, when it collides, we got its death. But we're also going to connect it our score to it like so so now that should be all we have to do in theory 
if we press P here, you can see up here, uh, player score equals zero. But hopefully, now it equals 500. Let's add in a few more bad tuxes. Shift D to clone them. And our score, once again, if you look over here, is zero. Now it's 1,500 because I killed three of them. Wasn't, weren't there four of them? I looked away for a second. <laughs> uh, exit. to shoot. There we go. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Exit the reloading of the game because we haven't saved it. So let's save it real quick. Two thousand points. So yeah, um, we now have scores being kept. In the next tutorial, we will add um, more of a visual uh, indication of the scores for our player because all this information up here will not be visible in the final game. Obviously, it can be turned on since it's open source and anything can be done uh, by the end user that they want to do. Um, by default, obviously, we won't have these little this information up here. So I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry if I'm a little out of it because of my allergies. Um, but I hope this tutorial made sense. <laughs> Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also visit filmsbychris.com forward slash P-O-P pop for more information on this game. I hope that you have a great day.